Marvin. Now I'm excited about this Carla because I love me some corned beef and I love me some enchiladas. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how we're going to be making <laughs> Absolutely. the breakfast corned beef enchiladas this morning. Anything yes. tortilla based. <laughs> okay, so I'm good. Good morning and it's new to have a new face with us, you know. So <laughs> well, thank you for listen, allowing she's me. She's gonna get initiated this morning. <laughs> yes, with our stuff. Good morning, Billy's, and always <laughs> thanks again for having us, um, Sabrina. You know, it's always a privilege when Friday is coming up. You know, I always try to figure something out to to bring to our viewers, you know, something amazing. And I believe and I trust that it's amazing. So today we're doing, as you said, breakfast. Corn beef. corn beef breakfast enchiladas. Some might say, what is that? So it's corn beef, of course. You know how the enchiladas go, yes. But then we're using the corn beef. And when the breakfast part come in, we're gonna add the egg instead of adding that red sauce on top. And of course, we have our cheese. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we're gonna um, light up, heat up the stove. Okay. Because we have our that's friend over here that's gonna gonna help us. You know, Sabrina, you're not off the hook. <laughs> so <laughs> guys. <laughs> When we when, when we were setting up, I asked Miss V, "Hey, can me and Marvin do something over here?" And Marvin was like, "Fat fly for me." Like, Come on, Marvin. Yeah. Have some faith in me. It was only one time. <laughs> yeah. And then of course I I'm gonna have my new friend Carla here oh. do something. So it's not always Miss V working at this because then again we want our viewers and our hosts to feel, you know what. Miss V had bring you know to the learn. show yes. so we have our trusty um gloves and we're gonna be okay. putting on these just before we start dealing with the tortilla because then we're gonna be rolling these right so um, I'm just gonna add a little oil to ours Carla and okay um Sabrina what I want you and Marvin to do is just to saute our veg over there mm -hmm. or um, we Potato. have some bell peppers no some bell peppers some garlic and some red um, onion in this in this mm -hmm. bowl, we're gonna saute that, you know, till it get uh, a bit translucent. Like I said, you know, some people might want to know, oh, you know when it's ready. Because then, look at it now, and then when it's almost finished, you know, we'll see that translucent um, look on it. So, mm -hmm. after you've sauteed that, then you can just add the, um, the, the That's potato. potato. Yes, right? we have okay. some diced potato that we're gonna add. Ooh, where is this going? Guys, just wait. And I, know, see I know, I know. Where you, it's you, um, It's <laughs> always something. I yes. Think it's it's delicious. Yes. When we're talking about the fact that you should definitely make a <laughs> recipe book because the mm -hmm. things that you've been able to create with yeah. these simple ingredients that we would have in our pantry. It's yeah. amazing, Carla. And absolutely. I yeah. had tuna panadas. <laughs> <laughs> I missed tuna panadas. You did. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff and Miss Via always try her best her best to, to write down these recipes because then again I want to try them again. Yeah. yeah. You know, not just for you viewers, but then so um we have the corned beef here. Carla, we just gonna yeah. I'm gonna add this All and right, have you go. um yes, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want me to cook the around. corned beef and then you're just gonna assemble the um the enchiladas? Yeah, I can All help right. cooking too. I don't. Right. I just it's better if you throw it in the. <laughs> All right. So does it sound like rain, guys? The sizzling of the oil. I don't know about you, but it sounds like rain to me. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were just talking, Miss V, about the fact that um. Uh, fried chicken frying uh -huh. sounds like rain. Oh. So for you people that like white noise, the sound of rain mm -hmm. as white noise, you might just be listening to fried chicken. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah. You know, so we're just gonna um, hash this up. You know, corned beef is already, you know, um, prepared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it have any seasoning in it already? No, no okay. season. Um, for this recipe, we're gonna add minimal. Okay. So um, just a side note, if you like, you can add um ketchup? the grace ketchup to this mixture, but okay. Miss V's not gonna add that. And you would She's add the ketchup a, while you're sauteing yes, it? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. You know, but Miss V's not gonna do it because then again, this is not the ordinary um enchiladas. All right. It's a breakfast enchilada. So mm -hmm. then after that, you guys just can add the, um, everything's gonna come together real fast. Okay. And if you want heat, there's some jalapeno that you can Ooh. add. Or if you want, you can add the hot sauce or my trusty um, cayenne pepper. We love cayenne pepper. <laughs> I'll be careful with you that. You know, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of, um, a little bit of black pepper, Carla, to this, okay. the Malher brand. I really okay. can't say it in, 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 in Spanish, but then, you know, just gonna add a little bit to that. How do you know when that's done? 
there's a difference. Okay, and there's the texture a texture or yeah, there, right. no, there's just a difference because then if you notice when we took it out of the can, yeah, 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 when you took it out of the but can, there me. was like some solid fats on right. it. That's the preservative. You know, when you add it to the heat, mm, then it that's, gives it all that yes, flavor. That's, mm, and, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happened. Can you right? tell I'm hungry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of parsley here that I'm just gonna um Ooh, yeah. okay. gonna add to this. Miss V, is this is this ready? Yes. Okay. You can um add so the um. Pour this in now? Yes. Add the potato. All right. You don't have to put in, more oil or anything. The potato. Let's take it easy, guys. The yeah. potato is already pre-boiled and um and diced. So yeah, all right. all right. Our corned beef is 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 finished. We're just gonna wait on these guys. Mm -hmm. So everything is already just basically to assemble except the um the potato and the um the pepper. So after that is finished, we're gonna add it to the um to the corned beef. What will be our mixture okay. to go into the tortilla? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So then we have our gloves and Carla. I'm gonna have this. This smells assemble. great. I can just tell you that, that off. Just yeah. this. Just the smell of garlic. garlic I, yeah. love. I agree. And, I love it. And and the funny thing, you can stop right at this because there are some people I remember my grandmother, you know, just to stretch the corned beef, she used to put potato inside. So when you add this, when you add the potato mixture to this, you can stop there. And she used to um give us with corn turkey on certain mm -hmm. days of the week. You mm -hmm. know, so then we know um maybe grandmother is cleaning or something. You know, but it was amazing and you can still we can still use it, yeah. you know, as as a meal. That's how I know. I know corn beef yeah. for the corn beef with uh, the white cilantro rice. white rice. Oh yeah, yeah. coconut white rice. Yes, Serena. What? Yeah, oh don't forget gosh. that. My mom yeah. does it with eggs. So oh my yes, gosh. it's really good. Yeah. Listen, there's there's, and that's the reason why I always try to come and try to show the versatility of. The, this car beef yeah. that you yeah. can, it's not just with the white rice and the, the planting, you know, but then hey, it's good. Yes. So how the potato is feeling, Sabrina? You tell um, me when it's ready. The potato is already <laughs> pre-boiled. You tell me when it's ready. The potato is already pre-boiled. So when we just, know our role. <laughs> it's already soft though. All right. Yeah. Okay then. See, listen, when you're cooking, you got to be one with your food. Miss <laughs> Lee, I have to be one with the entire plate, not just this, Miss Lee. All right, all right, all right then. Okay then, no problem. So then, you want to know, you might want to know where the eggs, eggs going to come in. Marvin, can you yes. pass me a fork? So with the eggs, we're gonna add um, some black pepper. We're not gonna put salt because then you know the um, the corned beef. The corned beef is yes. already yes. a bit salty. Yes, yes. So we're just gonna add some black pepper to this. All right. And again, we can add some parsley too. I love parsley, you know. Yeah. I love parsley too. I think it's fancy. What kind <laughs> yeah. of parsley do you use? Like, do you have it? Already? No, this is the dry one. Okay. okay. I don't have the fresh one, but this is the dry <laughs> Someone's one. Someone's garden. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna add that into this. Um, mixture into here. this. Yes. Let's okay. Turn it off. And you leave the heat on the corned beef while you. No, add the corned beef is already off okay. too. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. What a hearty breakfast. Yes. Mm hmm. All right. Take that off there on the side. All right. This is good already. Right? I, I, I'd be good with this with some yeah. corn tortilla already. Yes, like I said, you know, and for a bigger crowd, you can probably use two mm -hmm. of the um the green the grace corn beef. And as a side note, Marvin, I'm not stealing their thunder. No um. There's also another brand of corned beef from Grace, but this is the more popular one. Caribbean Choice is um, another one. Mm -hmm. I was, um, yes, you know, but then again, it's from Grace, and like I always tell my viewers, Grace is love. Yeah. So we have some um, evaporated milk here. Oh. What? For the egg? We're gonna add it to this ah, egg. The trick with this milk. Scrambled eggs. The <laughs> trick with this milk is gonna cause the egg to be fluffy. Yes. All right, remember we're not adding any, any salt, so we're just gonna whip this up. Not your basic scrambled no. eggs. No, but then yes. again, you can um, you can do it, and I'm telling you, it gives your egg a really yeah. nice um, fluffy texture. Mm -hmm. My cousin taught All right, me that. so we're gonna put this on the Do side. You evaporated milk in your eggs too? Yeah, milk. It's mm -hmm. not always evaporated milk. Though. Okay. Yeah. And I don't always do it if I'm, you know, just trying to have a healthy, light breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's time for us to, um, all right, we're just gonna put the eggs aside. Okay. okay. And for safety, I always, you know, put on these. Well, while you and Carla are getting ready to assemble uh, your first enchiladas, let's take it over to Marvin and talk about some of these deals, Marvin. What's the latest over at Grace? Okay, uh, morning again, guys. Like I mentioned in our many people store, 
before, well, starting off the Lent season, we do have our Grace and Grace and New Lent promotion that's still going on until the end of April, so until right. April 30th. Mm -hmm. We'll buy you we'll purchase, purchase one of our Grace corned beef, our Grace mackerel, our Grace sardine, uh, our Grace tuna, Grace coconut powder. Mm -hmm. uh, write your name, your number on the wrapper, on the label of the of the item. You WhatsApp it, WhatsApp it into 670-6707 and it could be the lucky winner of a short occasion coming up at the end of April. And we're winding summer. down to right. the end of April, so you have Marvin. Roughly a week and a week and a couple of days to, to get in, no? Yes. Right. But I think what's so important to mention is that I mean the average person, Marvin, will not purchase only one item from right. Grace. Right. We just saw uh, Miss V put together a lovely meal using mm. corned beef. Corn beef and for the average person oh, I imagine you're purchasing more than one corned beef you're probably purchasing more than one tuna mm -hmm. and these are just some of the items that you can use to write your net your name and your number on the label and text it to the number that you provided 670 and a short cation now explain to me the difference between a regular vacation and a no, short cation no, 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 no. or a vacation what's the difference well i would i would assume that a regular vacation would be roughly a week uh-huh a short longer. cation is uh -huh. just one one overnight week well four days mm -hmm. so well not four days but probably a couple days, days. yeah the over the weekend would be classified as a short cation right? and, and you get to off. experience right loads of fun on this mm -hmm. short cation <laughs> just from purchasing just from the regular Grocery items that Correct. you would Correct. normally do. Correct. Grace is obviously love Marvin. That's we right. can yeah. see here with the food that we eat every other week with you guys in the kitchen here, and yeah. of course with the products that we grew up with, loving and enjoying. Yeah. Well, let's take things back over to Miss V because I see Carla we're really working we're there flying. assembling. <laughs> yes. like, oh, we're working over yeah, here. We, we don't need you. All right. So while you guys were chit chatting over that side, remember to put this stem fantastic. down. You know, we, that this is where, Thank you. This, that is where so Thank this is you. where the filling is going to come in. Uh -huh. We're going to uh, let me slide back. What's up? Is it two types of cheese? Yes. Two yes. Okay. If you want, you can put it inside. If this not, looks like pepper jack, right? Yes. Yes, it is. So we're just going to put the filling. You know, some people do um, enchiladas with or without filling, mm -hmm. you know, and add some of that goodness because I love And like Miss Lisa, don't overstuff it. Like yes. I, I grabbed a big tortilla so You know what? We need to sell it. this so we could go, we could fluff it up Miss V. But you know yeah. what? If we were selling this because we've, we've done it before when we made our panadas. How much we want to the enchiladas Miss V? <laughs> the, stu the overstuffed one. Listen, we are take one fifty for one because this is your normal one. One fifty for enchiladas. This is your normal enchiladas, you know. So then we are no. still the breakfast coming along. So as we go along, we're just going to keep yes. on stuffing. You know, adding our cheese. We're not adding too much cheese because then we'll need cheese for, for the, the top. top. Yes. yes. And then we're going to be adding the eggs that you just yes. whipped up there as well. Yeah, because put at the top. I know our viewers is waiting to see how what this is Miss gonna Fee is going to do with that egg. I'm waiting to see too, guys. Yes. I, I'm yeah, really you know, waiting what? to see. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. looking good. I'll tell you guys, it smells good in here. I can mm. smell the aroma of the uh, garlic. Of course, uh, the coconut oil. Those who love corned beef mixture with coconut oil, mm -hmm. that's a really good smell too. Yeah. And I'm certainly looking forward to the final product, the finishing product of this meal this morning. That to me, we when will eat, not sell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. to, me, to me, when you add, um, when you use the, the, I'm being biased as always and it doesn't matter. When you use the coconut, um, the coconut oil with the corned beef and when you're doing the white rice, Hi, with the grace coconut powder, of course, and the coconut oil, man. Maybe mm -hmm. you know it's good when you're sigh. You say hi. Yes. I can't take it. It's, it's so, so good. good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that. Listen, that is true. That's how that we is, do ours too, though. Our that white is rice. True. Yes. Yep. It is All so right. true. So we're gonna put two on that side because okay, yeah, we're winding end, down. We're not leaving anybody out. No Alrighty. space. And we need to use all the um, corn beef. Yeah, but then again. Sabrina, what do you have for lunch today? You know, Miss V, I have nothing yet, so if you want to save some, and I, I'll, I'll you put can together assemble. some. Send for some together. right. Send for some white rice. I can put white together rice. some white rice for sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yes, Carla, I'm so proud of you for assembling Thank you. Um, your first corned beef uh, enchiladas, yeah, breakfast it. enchiladas. They should bring you back so you can get a Oh, she's going to be back, Miss yes. V. Okay. No worries. All right. She's going to be All back. Right. All right. And I'm I know. up for the fun Fridays. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> no, she said, yeah. look, I, I just want to be on the show whenever just the cooking is taking place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, next week I won't be here, so yeah. Oh, yeah, let's okay, come back okay. the following week. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the following week. <laughs> yeah, so. But we are winding down. We just put in All the right. last tortilla. Uh -huh. And we're going to be putting together now, we're going to be putting together the top portion, yes. baking it, and then getting yes. the final product together. Yes. All right, I, 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 I'm having an issue here, but I'm going to leave it. So um, this is our egg mixture that I add the um, evaporated milk yes. to it. Whatever milk you, you choose, if you're vegan, whatever, you add it here, put a little bit of parsley for niceness of black pepper, not too much season, mm -hmm. because then our, our um, corned beef, you know, will balance it off. So let's, here we go. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Give everybody that drizzle. Yes. And People then you will see about then how 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 it's gonna work. We're gonna see how this gonna work. So right you're gonna now. bake this, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh gosh, I forgot. Yes, we're gonna bake this. Um, we're gonna cover it and bake it for 35. Okay. 35. Right, at right what in here. I have um in the this foil. Um, the the oven should already be on. Okay. Preheated. You know what I've learned preheating the oven. You know um just do something different with your food than having it sit there and the heat is is climbing you know mm -hmm. so what temperature do you use sorry oh sorry 350 okay 350. okay yeah so we're gonna bake it for 35 minutes cover okay so listen this cheese this man. is mouth watering mm -hmm. <laughs> This so as we as we uh, wrap up here, Miss V, because we are running a bit out of time, okay. this is the final steps uh, yes. left before you put it in the oven. Yes. How long will it be in the oven? Thirty-five minutes cover, and when you take off the cover, you you give it um, a ten minutes sort of so the top. Okay. Can okay. be um can be brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know to give you that enchilada. So it's about forty-five minutes total. Baking. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we're gonna cover that. We're gonna cover this bad boy up. Yeah. I think I need that much. Okay. Now, now we're going to place her in the oven. Marvin, yes. can I get some help here? Yes. And if you know how TV kitchens work, while we said it's 45 minutes, it's just about a couple seconds. <laughs> I was going to ask, you know, but I yeah. didn't want to be rude. Like, do we have one already baking? <laughs> no, no, we just baked it there. <laughs> wow. Well, this is our finishing product. Miss V, this looks delicious. So yeah. It looks so, so lovely. We are just about out of time, but we want to remind our viewers again, that this is all made by Grace products. Yes, of course. We want to say a special thank you to Marvin as well and Miss V for stopping mm -hmm. by. Marvin, as we plate our enchiladas, let us know again just a bit about the deals and the deadline. Right, guys. So the deadline is uh, April 30th. Uh, we usually you have a week and a, and a couple of days to, to get in a uh, Grace and New promotion. We're buying purchase and order for Grace corned beef, for Grace tuna, for Grace sardine, uh, Grace lunch and meat. Mm -hmm. uh, put your name and your number on the wrapper, the label. Uh, fix it in to 67307 and by next week, you, you and your family could be on a short vacation. Wow. By next week, you're going to be on a short vacation, enjoying all of the amenities of yeah. where Grace chooses to take you. And it's all from just purchasing these regular items that you do on a yeah. daily basis. That can make these fantastic meals. Yeah. Mm. Miss V, Look at you never that. have to do it like that for a Friday, Miss V. <laughs> <laughs> Look she at that. Cooks. Yeah. <laughs> and and there we have it. You know. There we have our it. Our grace. Wow. Corn beef breakfast enchiladas. It looks Miss delicious. Beef, because I don't want nobody to see me more what's up on TV. <laughs> we're going to take a break and we're going to enjoy this off camera. And when we come back, we're going to be we're going to be switching things over and talking about the upcoming agriculture show. Awesome. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>